Well, this year, tech is smack in the middle of the S&P pack, ranking sixth out of the 11 S&P sectors. So which tech stock was the best for investors and which was the worst? Josh Lipton has the answer. Tech investors placed their bets in 2016, and no bet proved smarter than NVIDIA. The stock has soared some 240 percent this year. NVIDIA isn't just the best performing tech stock in the S&P 500, it's the best performing stock, period. Why all the excitement? Because NVIDIA's semiconductors are powering many exciting fields that investors want exposure to, including artificial intelligence and self-driving cars. Its core graphics processing units, or GPUs, also enable popular video games. Analysts say that business is what could drive this stock higher. What's driving the, the near term is the hardcore PC gamer. And so what we're seeing is we've got new title releases that are coming out for the this, this season. So for example, Battlefield 1 is out. And that's a very high performance game. And what's happening is those hardcore PC gamers want the next generation greatest GPU. And that's NVIDIA's Pascal architecture. It's a higher gross margin, higher ASP product, higher performing product. Still, not everyone is a fan of NVIDIA. This morning, short seller Citron Research tweeted that the market is disregarding headwinds for the company, including increasing competition. In 2017, Citron sees the stock heading back down to $90. NVIDIA declined comment on that report. From leaders to laggards, one of the worst performing tech stocks this year is Salesforce. CEO Mark Benioff says the business software maker could reach $20 billion in annual revenue faster than any other enterprise software company. But investors haven't been impressed and the stock is down some 10 percent this year. In part, analysts say the street is worried that Benioff might make a big acquisition given his flirtation with Twitter earlier this year. For Salesforce to start moving higher in 2017, I think it's pretty simple. First of all, they just need to get back on message around growth plus margin expansion equals mid 20% cash flow growth. This is a strong fundamental company. Uh, they've got a lot of open-ended opportunities from a growth perspective, but you gotta move away, frankly, from a lot of the discussion about M&A. Bulls like Matern are betting that causes of concern like aggressive deal making will now ease in the new year. He says the company's fourth quarter results, expected in mid-February, could be pivotal in terms of lifting the overhang on the stock. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Josh Lipton, San Francisco.